So welcome to our production line at Kunbus, where we produce the Revolution Pi. And uh, maybe some of you know the industrial grade Raspberry Pi, and here are robots bringing the devices to the soldiering um, area. And what we've prepared is a little showcase. I will try to get behind the robot. This robot is um, yeah, Heidi. The, the workers gave them names. So um, what do we have here for you? Today, we show you a setup where we attached a sensor, this time from Cognex. The guys from Cognex were so kind to provide it to us. We attached this sensor to a Revolution Pi, which you may know, and we will be sending data to the cloud. We have seen that several times today, so I think this is something everybody understood. But what is quite interesting is what happens when people get a Revolution Pi off the shelf. So for those who don't know the Revolution Pi, we come from the field bus section, creating field bus network cards. So we have field bus extension modules for every industrial um, or almost any industrial um, network or bus system. We have also IO modules to connect literally any sensor type to the Revolution Pi. And yeah, what we do now is um, we want to buy something off the shelf and start with thin edge IO. So what we prepared is an image which comes shipped with your Revolution Pi. In this case, you can just unwrap it and the thin edge client is already on the device. The next thing we can do, let me just go behind the scenes and show it to you. First of all, this sensor, I should mention that this sensor will pick up um, a barcode from every robot that's approaching here. So we can see what robot is coming here and send this data over because we know what this robot is, um, is producing. We could also have attached something, um, some sensors on the parts, but they are too hot. Um, we didn't do that for now. So let me go to screen share. like this. And as we have heard, there's a number of ways to program. One way that everybody knows and is quite simple would be to use um, Node-RED in this case. We have seen how to do that, right? So um, this is not the most interesting part. The interesting part is when we get to the Revolution Pi and we log on to that, we already have the Thin Edge client on it when it comes shipped to us. And the next thing is we notice this RevPi 59757, and this is the ID of the RevPi. So what we can do is we can just upload our certificate, which is already on the device, and we can, if we didn't set that in the, um, in the upload of the image, so at our factory before we ship the device, then we can set our, um, yeah, our um, tenant. So setting the tenant, then we upload the certificate And we did upload that. Let's go online and check. Let's have a look if we can see something. There it is. This is the time you need to upload a certificate and to register a device. The second thing we can do, you have seen that several times today, is uh, to connect the device and then we will be getting sensor data. In the meantime, you can see the robots running by. Let's try, yep, successfully. We have seen that too. I will try to do it very fast so that we save some time. Um, let's take, we have seen it, an MQTT node and add a broker, which is localhost. Don't make a typo now. 
and we add that. Now we need a topic for our local host. We go to the documentation, search for topic. That's very straightforward. We have uh, tested the uh, 0.4 version, and it works like a charm. We go back, add that topic. Next thing we need is a function node. We want to have some payload here. Let's go back and take the standard example and rush back to the function node. And as you know, node red, this is nothing new for you. We take this one, we take the message payload. No typos right now. And what I want to send is some IDs of the robots. This is pretty much it. The next thing we want to do, we want to make sure this is um, JSON data. So we want to transform that into JSON. We want to have a cycle, so we take an inject node and say that it should inject once after the start and then in an interval of uh, one seconds. Next thing we want to do, we went into the, before the presentation, we went into uh, our configuration tool Pictory, added a virtual device, which is the uh, barcode scanner that you can see. And this device is just registered and will put its output into input one. So we go back to node red, and what we do, we have revolution pi nodes. And we will use this get pin and add the local host server and select the input one. And hopefully, when I didn't forget something, yeah, we should just add something else because we don't want to have the same value a lot of times. So this cool node helps us just to send something if the payload has changed. So we put that in between here, like this, and this is our flow. Let's see if it works. We take a little debug node, go here, and now the last idea, this barcode sensor red was 210. Let me go back to the barcode. And I prepared something, or let us do the real thing, in case that no robot gets along here. Uh, OK. I have prepared a little robot that is a bit heavy. OK, my colleague will bring it. And we can just test some barcodes. And hopefully, do we see something? and post it in the chat. When the robot comes along here, we would have another barcode which is scanned from the robot. So you can see, yes, one was my piece of paper, one was my sheet of paper, and one was the robot that came across here. So what does it say to us? Um, it's not only something we can experiment with. If we handle the device management part, and if we bring that up and running, we will have a ready-to-use product in simply no time. And this helps people just to have loads of devices um, sent into the field. Let me then take the last minute to show you a little bit in here. So this was the setup we used. And this is what I told you. We have a lot of different um, uh, networks and uh, field buses that we support. We have a lot of devices. If you don't know Revolution Pi, we have 59,000 devices in the field, more than that. And you can program. And I mean you can program the thin edge um, yeah, send data to thin edge from Revolution Pi with Python. We already did that. We have an example with Node-RED, with Logicut, with Microsoft.NET, C, and Codesys. And the next thing that I wanted to tell you is that we will be on the SPS fair. 
And if you want to talk, and if you want to exchange some yeah, thoughts, exchange some ideas, exchange some knowledge, or exchange some projects and get us involved, then we can just, I try to stop screen sharing, then we can just meet on the SPS in November and have a little chat. So that's my little presentation from the shop floor. I hope you liked it. And now back to you.